Before using the Poseidon ZRGB software, please check that your hardware firmware is up to date. Simply go to settings and check update firmware to see if you're using the latest version. If not, simply start update and installation of the latest version will begin automatically. One of the first things that you'll note with the new TD Esports Poseidon ZRGB software is the new graphical user interface. We simplified things and made it easier to navigate around. The software includes the keyboard options, the macros, your five profile setting macros from one to five, the customize option and the lighting effect option. You can select profiles by creating new, deleting old and import and export profiles. You can change the names and you can select via instant shift system from different profiles. You have your key assignment options and on the top right, you have your reset, your customer service, your product information, your settings and your close key icons. You will have a selection of lighting effects to choose from, from static, reactive, arrow flow, wave, ripple, through to pulse and spectrum cycling. With the new animated display, users can select individual keys by left clicking and deselecting individual keys by right clicking. Or they can select multiple keys by left clicking and dragging along the desired area, and vice versa with the right click and drag to deselect. Users can use the color palette located at the bottom right of the software to select the desired color for the individual keys or multiple keys by simply selecting the desired color and dragging and clicking each individual key on the animated screen. And once it's completed, they can hit apply to activate these changes. Users can also decide on whether they'd like to select the pulse or spectrum cycling setting and also customize the speed of the effect itself. From slow to fast. If users desire to reset the LED settings, they simply need to select the LED reset icon and it will activate. For the reactive lighting effect, users can highlight or select individual keys that they wish to customize the selected colors with. Once that has been selected, simply hit apply to activate the changes. To customize your arrow flow effect, you have a range of options. You can decide on changing the flow direction from left to right or have effects rolling on or off. One of the new features of the new Poseidon ZRG software that we've added is pattern templates, which there are five of. You can use these templates to select your desired coloring system, or you can customize them by adding up to 10 stops and creating different colors for each stop. Once you're making these changes, you can preview your changes by simply clicking on the animated screen and it will provide the lighting effect that is currently available. We have added a new surface color option which adds a base color on top of your lighting effects. Simply turn it on, select the color you desire and hit apply to activate. With the wave lighting effect, the animated screen will highlight the current colors available. You're able to change the flow direction from left to right and the selected speed from slow, medium to fast. You also have the five color template options available, or you can customize individual templates by adding color stops, which there are up to 10 of, and selecting each individual colors for each stop. At the same time, these changes will also be highlighted in the animated screen, so you'll always know what your coloring setup looks like, and simply select apply to activate the changes. For the ripple effect, you can use the five preset pattern colors available to you, or you can select from your own colors by adding up to 10 stops and selecting each individual stop with your desired color. You can also add a surface base color to the effect by selecting the surface option and turning it on and choosing your desired color. At the same time, you can also see which colors you have chosen by clicking on the animated screen for that all important preview. And once that's been done, you simply select apply and if you need to reset the LED, simply select the LED reset icon. 